In this tutorial video, we will show the two main menus available in the analyzer after you switch it on. The main menu is the home menu, where we can access to the following analysis tools and features. TV analyzer. We will use this mode when we are interested in analyzing FM and TV signals, whether they are satellite, cable TV or terrestrial signals. Under this mode, the analyzer can tune and demodulate terrestrial and cable TV signals in the band that covers from 45 to 1000 MHz, and satellite signals in the band from 250 to 2350 MHz. After demodulation, it is possible to decode and watch the services included in those carriers. Other tools included under this mode are the Dynamic Echoes Analysis, Constellation, MER by Carrier, Metogram, Spectrogram, Transport Stream Recording, Shoulder Attenuation, Coverage Analysis, dbbt 2 mi Analysis, LTE Ingress Test, Network Delay Measurement, Field Strength Measurement, Carrier Frequency Drift Test, and many more. The second feature in the menu is the Spectrum Analyzer mode. We will use this mode to tune and take RF measurements, power level and carrier to noise, over any carrier located within the band from 5 MHz to 6 GHz. This mode can be extremely useful as well to evaluate LT carriers, satellite C-band signals directly from the dish LNA, etc. There is no demodulation in this mode. The third tool is the IPTV analyzer. It is used to inspect in detail as many as four simultaneous IPTV streams, capturing their bit rate, packet rate, number of missing packets, number of erroneous packets, and so on. Services can be decoded, recorded, and watched on screen. Some extended features under this mode are the interarrival packet time plot, the capability to send ping and trace route commands, and scrutinize the service video metadata. The OTT mode is meant to analyze OTT services under MPEG Dash or HLS protocols. Video services can be played out, and a browser can be used for navigation and content perusal. The Wi Fi mode provides a comprehensive analyzer for Wi-Fi 2.4G and 5G. The Network Analyzer mode lets us run a physical test over the Ethernet cable. Other tools that can be found here are the analysis and assessment of traffic, speed testing and an integrated web browser. The Analog Input mode will show us the video content that has been input through the BA input. The ASI mode integrates several tools aimed at analyzing in-depth transport stream signals, for instance, a transport stream analyzer, a bitrate analyzer, and an alarm analyzer. The SDI mode features an SD-SDI, HD-SDI, and 3G-SDI compatible analyzer, and comprises an statistical eye diagram, CRC error detection, monitoring of up to 16 AES-3 audio channels and LPCM audio loudness meter. Manual, it loads the full instruments manual. Settings opens the general settings menu, which will be explained in detail in a following video tutorial. Besides the main home menu, we can find a secondary menu by dragging down the top side of the screen. Here we can find two sliders to control the speaker's volume and the screen's brightness, and the specific areas to configure aspects related to the storage structure inside the meter, which we call the workspace. Here you can navigate through the different folders and subfolders inside the meter, and inspect channel plans, data loggers, videos, recordings, screenshots, etc. You can identify here as well the USB storage that can be connected to the analyzer and set up the analyzer's Ethernet connectivity. 
a plugged external GPS geolocation device, a Wi-Fi plug-and-play dongle, or the analyzer's HDMI interface. 